you go fully on. Yes. So we're a couple of minutes early. We've got um, some time. Yeah, well, I I'm gonna go ahead and go at eight. I'm gonna go ahead and pray at eight o'clock. Sure. sure. And then you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can start on time. So shut the door because it's a fire hazard. So shut the door. All right, let's go. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we come to you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, praying to you this morning on Friday morning, pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you guide us and protect us throughout the day, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As we go in, Heavenly Father, to our jobs, Heavenly Father, to our homes, Heavenly Father, our coming out of work, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for those that I'm walking across the downtown that's asking for a dollar, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As I come by them, Heavenly Father, and they're struggling, Heavenly Father, not having a home to go in or a family to provide for, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the opportunity, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for me praying with that man who was asking me just for a dollar, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, trying to make a way, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We don't know his struggle, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, but I know he's struggling, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I pray that you cover him again, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for everybody who's on this phone call, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, on this prayer line. I pray that everybody chimes in to the group of prayer, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we come trying to make a way, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We love you. We honor you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As I'm downtown at work, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for those who are in need, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you cover them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for everybody to have a great weekend, Heavenly Father. I pray that you cover Roseanne, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, through her prayer call, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you cover Jennifer, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, through her prayer call, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you cover stolen lunches through their prayer call, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and anybody that I could Thank God right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you cover them by the blood, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you cover social media, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Hold us all responsible, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for providing the word, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for those who are in need, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the social media outlet, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. 
for me, Heavenly Father, for Judy, Heavenly Father, for Jennifer, Heavenly Father, for Roseanne, Heavenly Father, for Stolen Lunches, Heavenly Father, and anybody, Pastor May, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Pastor Moore, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, those who I surround myself or we surround ourselves with, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that's trying to provide, Heavenly Father, the word, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that the fast that Pastor May has put on is a is a success, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we all come together and join him, Heavenly Father, in the past, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for Cassandra, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you cover her, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as she's trying to bring the word on the social media, Heavenly Father, amongst others outside of social media, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for those who don't believe, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you cover them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, through us, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, may be a word of encouragement when they're down, Heavenly Father, not even looking at you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you shed your blood, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for we know what the enemy is doing, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, but we know that the enemy can't see your future, he can see your past and present, but he can't see your future, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, so I see the future, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for these radio stations that's playing this foul, violent, and sexual music, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Please cover the personalities, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that feel they have no control over what's going on. Please get the media, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that feel they have no control of what's going on, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you shed your blood through them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for you gave your life for us to be here, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So if you can do what you do, Heavenly Father, and leave it up to us to be responsible and accountable, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We can do it as well, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I pray, Heavenly Father, that everybody who's struggling with something, Heavenly Father, maybe sex, Heavenly Father, maybe drugs, Heavenly Father, maybe kids, Heavenly Father, maybe something in their lives, Heavenly Father, that you cover them, Heavenly Father, and shed your blood, Heavenly Father. We love you. We honor you. We praise your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to read the scripture from my Bible gateway. It's Second Corinthians 3 and 6. He has qualified us, making us sufficient as ministers of a new covenant of salvation through Christ, not through the letter of a written code, but of the Spirit. For the letter, excuse me, for the letter of the law kills by revealing sin and demanding obedience, but the Spirit gives life. Amen. Good morning, everyone. We have life this morning. We are brought into the new covenant. We are ministers, all of us are ministers of this new covenant as we join in the Spirit and through the sacrifice that Christ has made for us. And therefore, we are not called to death. We are not called to return to sin, but we are called by the Spirit to live our lives. So I'm going to just start in prayer this morning. This is and, morning. Good morning. And understanding that we are called into the Spirit to have life. And as the Bible says, life, ever, um, life everlasting. Heavenly Father, good morning. And dear Heavenly Father, I love you and I praise you. I thank you for yet another week. There are those who start at the beginning of the week who are not here, Heavenly Father. And so everyone that's on this call, we thank you that they are alive and well and with us at the end of the week. Heavenly Father, and we know that you are in this day, you are in this weekend, you are in every movement that we make, Heavenly Father. Help us, Lord, to always run to you. Even though you have given us human leaders, help us to remember that your word, your word is so important and that we should return to it, that we should meditate in it. The Bible says, thy word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against thee. So, Heavenly Father, allow us, give us that time, whether it's five minutes listening in our cars, whether it is 
two or three minutes during our lunch time to meditate on the word of the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for life, health, and strength. I know that I say this every week, and I hope no one is ever tired, but Heavenly Father, I'm thankful that I was able to get out of my bed. There was a time that I could not, and so every day I never fail to praise you and thank you for the ability to move my limbs, get out of a bed, and rise and walk. Heavenly Father, I thank you for all of our senses, the ability to see, hear, taste, touch, and anything that you give us in this body. I thank you. I thank you for this world that you've given us, so rich and so diverse, and there are those who would try to to knock or be prejudiced and racist against our diversity. But I refuse because you made this world. You made all of us. You made trees. You made all these things that are different, Heavenly Father. And so that we are to praise your creation and we praise even the way you have made us different in our humanity. Thank you, Heavenly Father. So I come against any kind of prejudice and racist. We're at the tail end of one of the most divisive political elections in all of our history. But Heavenly Father, I know that you made this world you sit on the throne and who regardless of who is in office you will not be moved you your word cannot fall to the earth void heavenly father so we know that you will still be in rule you will still be in control and therefore we still need to look to you as the author and finisher of our faith dear heavenly father i thank you for those on this call those who have called in there are various prayer requests before me heavenly father there are those who are looking for employment lord you know their need you know their dire straits heavenly father so if you see them lord open a door, move upon the heart of someone to show them favor, Heavenly Father, above another applicant, maybe, Lord. But, Lord, if there's enough for everyone, I ask that you give employment this morning so that people can meet their financial obligations. Heavenly Father, those that there are those who are struggling, even though they have a job, with their financial obligations. Heavenly Father, I ask that you bless them exponentially. Maybe give them an idea to start a business, Heavenly Father, or partner them with someone who can help them grow in financial wisdom to manage their lives, Heavenly Father. We all need one another, and so I ask and pray that you will guide us to the ones that are supposed to support us in our need, Heavenly Father. Dear Lord, I ask you for those who are sick in their body this morning, those who are wracked by pain, those who are on so many pills they can barely keep them straight. I ask, Heavenly Father, that your healing power come, whether it comes through the doctors, whether it comes through a miraculous healing where they don't even need it anymore. I ask these things in Jesus' name, that these people are released from their pain, that they're released from their bondage of illness, that they're released from their bondage of disease or conditions. Heavenly Father, help us to rise above and help us to be a miracle even if the doctors can't explain why you are doing what you're doing because the test results say one thing, but you're able to do something else. In the mighty name of Jesus, I know you are more than able to do this above more than what we can ever think or ask. Dear Heavenly Father, there are those out in their cars today. Take them safely to their destination, Lord. It's the weekend, Lord. We know how people like to turn up, but we ask protection, protection around everybody on these roads. Take them to their destination and get them back, Lord. Take them to all the events over this weekend, Lord, and take them home, Lord. Protect them, Heavenly Father. Dear Lord, we ask that you come. And just sup with us, Lord. Just be with us throughout the day. Give us little notions that you know, we know. You are present. You are with us. There are those who are feeling lonely, Heavenly Father, in their spirit. There are those who are feeling alone, feeling rejected or neglected, Heavenly Father. Come and comfort them with your presence. Come and comfort them with the warmth of your word. Come and comfort them even through another person who may say, you know what, I saw you sitting here by yourself. Dear Heavenly Father, and it was just moved upon me to come and talk to you. Heavenly Father, go and comfort those who are feeling lonely today, Heavenly Father, feeling rejected, maybe away from family, and therefore they're safe. They're facing the holidays where they're not sure where they're going to eat, who they're going to be with. They're facing an empty apartment, Heavenly Father. They're facing an empty house, Heavenly Father. I ask that you wrap your loving arms around them and comfort them. Heavenly Father, there are those who are dealing with grief, Lord. 
and they're not sure of their next step. They're not sure of their next decision because they're dealing with the grief and the loss of a loved one. Dear Heavenly Father, I lift them up in your precious love. Lift them up in your precious care. Go and comfort their minds so that they're not stressed, Lord. Go and comfort their hearts and their spirits so that they're not downcast, Heavenly Father. Let them know that you will never leave them nor forsake them as long as they walk this earth, Lord. They always have you. Dear Heavenly Father, we bless our children, Lord, as they go to school today, Lord. We bless and watch over them. There are those who are struggling in their schools. There are those who are struggling in their lessons. There are those who are struggling maybe with behavior. But, Heavenly Father, we know that you are more than a conqueror. You make us more than conquerors, Lord. And whatever affliction that may try to come upon us, you can relieve it, Lord. You can alleviate it, Lord. You can lighten it, Lord. You can make it so it's of no effect. Lord, regardless of what a diagnosis may come, regardless of what a behavioral plan may say. Heavenly Father, we know that you are more than able to touch that child in the mighty name of Jesus. Touch that young person. Touch their minds, Lord. Touch their spirits and their hearts. Awaken in them a love of learning and the ability to overcome whatever besets them this morning. Heavenly Father, I pray for each and again, everyone on this phone call. They may have their individual prayer requests, or there even may be a prayer praise report, Lord, but we ask that you cover them. Meet them wherever their need is, dear Lord. Make them understand they are not alone. I don't know why I'm stressing that today, but you are not alone. The Lord of our God sees you and is covering you and understands how you feel, and therefore I'm here to tell you, you are not alone. You are not forsaken. You are not rejected. You are not left out. God sees you, and he has a plan for your life. Continue to move forward. Continue to walk. Don't grow weary. Don't don't grow tired. He sees your cries. He sees your, your pain, and he sees how you feel. He is not indifferent to you. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word, and I thank you for your Holy Spirit that binds us together, Lord, as a family. We are one body with many members, Lord, and therefore I ask and I praise you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. 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 At this time. Go ahead. Mm. Anybody else want to chime in? I'm at work right now, so if anybody wants to chime in, um, go ahead and feel welcome. Or if anybody has a prayer request, we can pray specifically for you. Or a praise report. I love getting our praise reports. I don't know who I was speaking to, and I, I just feel led again. God loves you. We love you. And there is nothing that God does not see that he cannot help you with. Please don't feel that you're alone in whatever it is you're facing. Please don't think that you have no one else on this planet that may understand what you're facing. Even if we don't know exactly, we can have sympathy and empathy for you. So I just want to let someone on this line know that you are loved, you are cherished by God and by us. Well, we thank you for calling in. Obviously, um, God has brought you to call in so we can bring a word to you. So, you know, thank you for listening. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And just know that God loves you, and he's surrounding himself through you, through us, uh, through this prayer call. So have a wonderful weekend, and just know that I love you, but God loves you more. Judy loves you, but God loves you more. Amen. And, you know, all the ministries love you, but God loves you more. Amen. 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 Have a great weekend, guys. Everyone, take care. Everybody be blessed. Be blessed. Bye-bye. Amen. Amen.